morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Kaz Daughtry. I'm the Deputy Mayor for Public Safety. Uh, I'm also the drone czar for New York City, the, uh, the chair of the Drone Safety Committee, uh, appointed by the Honorable Mayor Eric Adams. And as you, can, as you can see here, we have a couple of drones, but how we got here, drones are a key, drones are an important part in keeping New York is safe. This is a this is a, the, the technology, and these drones and these and these air, these small uh, unmanned aircrafts are key. Whether it be as into policing, whether it be at, at helping out on fire uh, fire scenes, whether on our beaches searching for a suspect due to inclement weather, uh, helicopters cannot get up. We can always launch the drones. So you're going to hear from a couple of key speakers up here today. Um, but this technology is, you know, we're going to keep moving forward. And the goal is for us here is how we started in the police department for myself is having started the first drone first responder program, getting the first ever co-op from the FAA to not have a, a visual a visual line of sight observer, having drones launched on top of commands, responding to 911 calls autonomously from being flown at one police plaza five different stations, five different police stations in New York City. Now we're going to start transitioning into putting drones on top of firehouses throughout the city. The key here is when there's a 911 call for God forbid there's a fire, the drone will autonomously fly to that fire scene first as the firefighters are getting ready, throwing their gear on. When they get into the fire truck, the lieutenant inside of the fire cab can look and get a quick scene assessment before he even gets to the actual scene and starts radioing to the rest of his firefighters on how they're going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, fight that fire before they even arrive on the scene. So thank you. We'll be happy to take any questions at the end. We're going to turn it over to uh, Commissioner Tuck. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Deputy Mayor Daughtry, and uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Robert Tucker, the New York City Fire Commissioner. Um, and I thank you all for, for being here and giving attention to uh, the fact that the FDNY has fully embraced drone technology. Um, drones have become integral for our fire chiefs, several of whom are here today and will take questions um, from you uh, at fire scenes, at rescue scenes. Frankly, um, at every second alarm fire or greater, our fire chiefs are looking for our command tactical unit that are also here today so that they can assess the fire building itself from the top and from areas that may be difficult or unsafe for our firefighters to access. The first drone that the FDNY deployed actually was in March of 2017. So we've been at this a long, long time, but the technology has evolved and today we're using drones across all five boroughs uh, and, and as I said, at, at fire scenes, but also at rescue scenes. The drones that FDNY has have thermal imaging cameras, they have heat detection uh, capability, and they have uh, video capability, which is not just important to the, command, the, the fire ground chief, but we're sending that uh, video all over the city so that we can make uh, appropriate decisions. Now, with this technology, we locate hot spots and fires and access the, uh, uh, the building and then assess structural stability, which is key to the safety of our <clears throat> first responders. Um, ultimately, uh, as I said, at every fire scene, the fire chiefs behind you and their deputies are looking for our uh, drones, and thanks to the deputy mayor, and Mayor Adams, uh, we intend at the fire department to significantly expand uh, the drone technology uh, across all five boroughs to act uh, uh, autonomously, as the deputy mayor just said, uh, to advance uh, to fire scenes and emergency scenes even prior to us getting there. So <clears throat> with that in mind, our partner, uh, Zach Iskell at uh, Emergency Management, uh, we'll, <clears throat> we'll speak a little more about drones, maybe in what we're doing together at the beaches. Uh, thank you, Rob. Uh, Deputy Mayor Daughtry, thank you. Great to be with you all today. 
I remember the first time uh, we were using drones in the Marine Corps was 20 something years ago in Fallujah. We had a drone that sort of looked like a radio controlled plane that you had to use a slingshot. Two Marines had to hold the, the slingshot on either side. You pull it back, fire it up into the air. We flew it over the city. It actually got shot down by Al Qaeda. We recovered it a couple weeks later. Uh, but you had to then get the drone, take the SD card out, recover the footage, watch the footage, uh, and that was something 20 years ago. And seeing where we are today, largely thanks to the leadership of the men behind me, the women behind me, Deputy Mayor Daughtry and the work, the incredible work he's been doing throughout his career to bring drones to the forefront of public safety, it's incredible. Uh, and just seeing what we use it for, from everything that uh, Commissioner Tucker was talking about out at uh, fires, using it for building collapses, damage assessments. Uh, we just did a great exercise a couple weeks ago where we are replicating, uh, exercising, you know, after a coastal storm, how we could do damage assessments of an entire area and map where damage is. Uh, but it's really about doing life-saving work. Every day we have a team that's out at the beaches monitoring for sharks, working with our lifeguards to identify people, swimmers who might be in distress. So there's really no end to the capabilities of drones, and I think we're only beginning to scratch the surface of their use in public surface uh, safety. So thank you for being here. Uh, it's really incredible. I hope that you all get to see some good stuff with our drone teams here today. Uh, and thank you. Back over to you, Dr. Mayor. My name is Mike Leo. Uh, I'm the program administrator for FDNY Robotics. Uh, so just to provide some insight on what we're doing here this week, um, DHS, um, New Steel, is hosting a week-long UAS assessment. Uh, so we're testing different uh, operational capabilities of different drone platforms. And what this does is it, it provides metrics for us uh, in the future and scientific methodology that we can use for our own research and development um, and, and obviously not, not, not only does it affect the, the, the large metro uh, public safety agencies, but uh, this is very useful for public safety agencies all across America. This, this right now, the different platforms that we are uh, in the assessment are, are what is out today. It's not really to improve them so much, but to let us know what their operational capabilities are. And, and how would, I mean, how would you like to use them in the future? How would you like to use them, like, in a more expanded role than you're using them now? Like, so, we, when it comes to research and development, you know, we always have our eye on the, the bleeding edge of technology and making sure that it's reliable enough to use in public safety, which, which takes some time. So, um, uh, uh, the deputy mayor here was uh, some of the insight of what we're looking to do with um, rooftop uh, operations and covering the city and getting our response times, uh, you know, very low. Yeah. The uh, side on what the captain's saying here, if it can work in New York City, it can work anywhere. A lot of these companies contact us, they give us demos, and when they're using this technology yet, they don't have all of the buildings that you see here in New York City, they don't have all, they don't have 8.5 million people that live there. You got radio frequencies, you got cell phone frequencies, you got RF frequencies. So if, uh, for a perfect example, sometimes depending on this, in parts in the city, the, uh, we may not get a connection, the drones may not get a connection to the satellite just due to the, 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 pop, the dense population, the, the dense popularity in the city. So if it could work here in New York, then we're satisfied it can work anywhere in the country. And so we're looking at to make sure that the, that what the companies have told us during their demonstrations, that it actually can work here as a proof of concept here in New York City, the city that never sleeps. And if it can work here, we'll be happy, we're happy with it. So. so And that's a great question. Thank you. As you remember, I went down to Congress to testify in front of the Homeland Security Committee, and that was one of the questions that came up. The security concerns, like there are certain firewalls that FDNY, the NYPD, when those video fees are going through, um, that we're satisfied that nobody can't intercept. But there's nothing is perfect, and we're concerned about the DJI drones. That's why we're phasing them out, and we're looking at other companies that will meet our security standards. I'm sure you're very familiar with the DHS memo that came out 
in regards to the DJI drones. And yes, we have taken that very seriously. That's why we're upgrading the fleet, better security measures in place, and kind of replacing them, phasing them out with uh, uh, other drone companies that we're looking at. Great. Thank you.